Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with the gorgeous, the luscious, the very beautiful Miss Andrea Cole, who tells us all about her brand new album. Remember though, Andrea? That's right, Neil. If you miss it, you miss out. Don't miss Andrea today on your entertainment news. Tall buildings reach up in vain. Tinsel town is in the rain. So your new album. Um, I've already downloaded the John Lennon track, I must just point out. It's a lovely, lovely track, actually, very moving. Um, but, you know, how do you... I'm always fascinated. How did you decide what tracks you wanted to put on? Because I could imagine you must have had loads that you kept sort of umming and ahhing over. There's you, lots. Oh, should I do that? Yeah, mm. well, the thing is, is that, you know, I, I didn't set out in, with any intention to make a, a record of other people's songs at any point in my life. Yeah. I've always been, you know, do my own or, or write with my family or write by myself. And um, anyway, but then the, the, the guy who produced the record, he kind of went, well, we could make, he loved my voice, and which is really complimentary, obviously. And, you know, he suggested doing an album of hidden gems. And first of all, I was no, I said, I said no, but I always say no first. <laughs> That's just how it goes, as after having a good cry. <laughs> yeah. No one I cry, then we're off and running. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, then, basically, I, I went away and thought about it, and I thought, you know, God, what a luxury just to sing these songs that I've loved, as in that they're lifelines. Mm. There's a song on the on the record, Harry Nielsen song, which is what I immediately thought of covering yeah. when I when I when I thought of doing this. And it's called Lifeline. And I thought of songs as lifelines in the idea that songs could save you. Now I know that sounds dramatic. No, I agree though. But the power of music is to let you feel mood. not alone. That yeah. you're you're not alone in what you're feeling. Yeah. You know, that somebody else has felt what you're feeling. And you know, that unites us all. And, you know, then I thought about that in relation to my own life, that's the songs that I felt had saved me along the way. Will we always be happy go lucky? So how has it changed you musically being married? Because um, I think when you, be, you know, when you sort of are with somebody, do you sort of run it by them a lot now and say, do you like this? Or, or, you know, because I think when you're just with your family, mm. um, and they, sometimes they always say, we love it. <laughs> Whereas your partner can be quite blunt, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. They can. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, well, my particular relationship is great because a part of the reason is, is is great that we have allure about there's an allure about each other's jobs yeah. he would hate to do what I do you know and yet he does finance so it's just totally so there's mystery and I couldn't you know the world would fall apart if I was looking <laughs> after things both. financially so yeah yeah <laughs> bye bye yeah. Um, but yeah so so you know there is that certain allure but you know also though he has the ear of of everybody he doesn't have a jaded ear of somebody in the music business for years he has he goes I like that and if that's just how and that's it is the public isn't it that's it's, what I look at yeah. I think he would buy that yes yeah, so yeah. You, you kind of he's your audience if you yeah. like you think mm, do you like this yeah. and then yeah So finally, you've got some uh, live dates that you, you're doing. Do we get any more later in the year, or can we tempt you out a bit more? Just don't say two or say gigs. <laughs> yeah. A few more gigs. Gigs. And then, will you be working on something else, or will we have to wait another four years till we meet or something, you know? Because I love your stuff, but I do kind of think, hmm, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> how quick would you want to get back in there? Or are you planning any more theatre? Well, anything? you know what? The thing is, is that, um, yeah, well, I'd hope to, hope to always do theatre, please God, as well. I, I feel very lucky that I'm getting to do both. It's like, it's like I don't know, God hasn't noticed. But um, uh, about music, I had kind of stopped. I didn't really find myself writing so much after my last record. And um, like, ironically, this album brought me back to the piano. I've made this record of other people's music yeah. and, and, you know, reignited the love I had for music when I was a child before I got into the so world. You find yourself now sitting down and I find myself right back the way I was yeah. and find myself going back to the piano. So I've I've written an awful lot more now since which and then once you write them you want to record them. Once you record them you want to release them. And then you've got to come out so. and promote them. And then, yeah, exactly. No, but I'm going to do the I want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be alone too often. Andrea Cole, it's a lovely to catch up with you again. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you.